All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, it's time for another video. And this knife also comes from awesome viewer Andrew Hubbard. Thanks for sending it along. Really excited to show this one to you guys. So uh, this is the Knives Fast channel. So let's get started with saying hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV and Choo Choo. And let's get started. So uh, this is... An LT right knife, the first time I've checked one of those out. This is the LT right, and I'm trying to help the focus here. Come on, focus, you got this. It's not working. There we go. Um, LT right daily carry fixed blade, and they just call it the daily carry. Comes in this really cool uh, leather sheet that has. Uh, logo on the back here, nice uh, belt loop here, works really well for me. Now for some of you, uh, who knows, it might dangle a little too far for you, but for me it's good because that means it's on the belt like this and this is not jamming into my side. Uh, and I wear my shirts untucked, so this is absolutely perfect. Now, it doesn't have super great retention like you're used to with a Kydex sheath, but it's fine for the way it's carrying. It's not going to pop out. Uh, it's no problem like that. Beautiful stitch work, beautiful leather, nice, just well done overall. So uh, I'm going to put it right here where you can still look at it, and we're going to look at this beautiful knife. Now, uh, this thing is ridiculous right off the bat. Size-wise, they nailed it, guys. I have bigger hands, um, and you can see I have plenty of room. Uh, we're going to talk about one thing on the spine, but that feels really good. Now, you've got kind of a guard to keep you back, so really nice, very nice. And you've got, in this case, by the way, Andrew says this was one in the DLT uh, 12 Days of Christmas. So he's not even sure you can, we're not sure you can get this one. I can't find it. But it's black bone, they call it. Um, and it looks like they've dyed the bone because of uh, the irregularities in natural bone. Some places took up the black dye and some didn't, which I think is what makes it look fantastic. You got brass pins, brass lanyard hole. Uh, you have red. Let me look off. Yeah, it's kind of burgundy. Uh, maybe G10 uh, liners there. And your full tang knife, of course. Very contoured, very nicely done on the scales. I mean, very well-rounded, uh, but tall enough that it feels great. I mean, fantastic. And you got a flare down here towards the back, which makes you feel locked in, gives you a nice purchase back here on your pinky, your smaller finger that doesn't have as much strength or whatever. Uh, very cool. Now, up here, again, uh, something different. You've got the LT right logo, and you have a high flat grind, guys, which is really nice. And it is magnet cut, and you have this beautiful, beautiful satin finish. Look at those grind lines. And then up here on the flats, the same thing. Very nice. Over here, um, you've got it's, a, it's just an M, which I think is for magnet cut, which I think is cool. You do have a uh, guard and a sharpening choil, and that sharpening choil should work very well for edge relief there. Now, this is uh, the factory edge, Andrew tells me, uh, but guys, just off the bat, let's get the uh, good old cardboard. I've done some breaking down with this. It's, it's fantastic. I mean, I don't know, uh, you know, again, my calipers suck, but uh, it just cuts really well for such a small knife. It is thicker. I'm going to say it's 3.2, maybe 3.3 millimeter stock, uh, 0 0.12, 0 0.125 of an inch, something like that. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, but it's, it's not super thick. And then you've got beautiful grind lines on that as well. Really, really nicely done. Uh, fantastic. And it's made in the U.S., guys. Now, these are a little pricier uh, because they're made in the U.S., but I got to tell you, uh, they're not out of control. I mean, this is a... Uh, let's talk size real quick. This is a, a good size for EDC. Now, uh, here is... Uh, let's pull out a few things here. Number one, there's your Ontario Rat 2 and your Ontario Rat 1. And I'll leave those here while I dig out this other item I'm going to get. Um, where is it? Okay, here is, uh, we'll take out the Rat 2 and we'll put in, I show you guys the Jake Hoback Goliath, which is a tiny little fixed blade. Um, so you can see size-wise, 
this is really, really nice. Um, wait a minute, one more. Ah, okay, here's my, uh, I carry this one a lot too. Uh, this is my Lion Steel M4, and you can see that's significantly bigger. So for me, for EDC size or even basic, basic, basic bushcraft needs, uh, this knife is a great size. I mean, it really, really is. It's it's right at that four finger grip for me, and uh, the 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 thinness of the grind. And the way it looks, I mean, it's fantastic. Now, this is a special one, so good luck finding it. I'm going to try to. Uh, who knows? But, um, I mean, it is just beautiful. Now, let's talk specs and some other things. Now, currently, Andrew got his at DLT, and that's where you're going to find DLT trading, where you're going to find these. And right now, every model they have is out of stock. Um, very sad. And they range anywhere uh, from 165 to 155 and then I think Andrew says this one was closer to 200 but um, they have any most of them are done in AEBL um, and the, the black micarta green micarta natural micarta um, all kinds of really cool black G10 uh, all kinds of good materials but again they are currently out of stock but I I guess they come in waves so let's go over to the um, the length here is 6.625, which uh, is a really nice fit for me. Three-inch blade, uh, AEB, well, this one's Magna Cut. I've, obviously, I said that. I'm reading a different one. Okay, blade thickness is 0.125, so I was really close, three millimeters. I was, you know, it looks a little thicker than that to me, but it's okay. They don't give me weight, so let's do that real quick because I am curious what the weight is both with and without the sheath. So without the sheath, 3.7, uh, that is perfect for me. And with the sheath on your side, I'm going to guess, um, we're going to go 4.6. Oh, I'm off, 5.5. So it's 5.5 uh, with the sheath, which is still perfect. I mean, not a problem whatsoever uh, for me. So great, great knife, guys. I'm just super impressed. Uh, I need to get a, um, shoot, a BRK. What's it? I, I want to say Blue Ridge knives, but it's not. Oh, come on, guys. I'm, I'm really going to blank now. The uh, the two fixed blades, uh, you got LT right and you got BRK. Hold on. Let me see what Bark River knives. Wow. Okay. Uh, and so I really want to get a Bark River in here at some time to check out and kind of compare my findings with the LT right. But I'm going to be looking for one of these in the meantime. Uh, really am. Uh, but I really would like to get a super nice one like this, like an heirloom looking piece. Uh, that's what I call this to me. This is an heirloom level piece. I mean, it really is made in the U S magna cut steel, beautiful bone handles, this is unbelievably cool, and I think it would be great in the woods, even though it's smaller. I, th I really do. So there you go. Guys, let me know what you think of this one. I know a lot of you don't like fixed blades, but I think in the EDC size, they're becoming more and more popular. So give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think, guys. Check out the channel if you're not subscribed. And thanks to Andrew for sending this along. Andrew, you are the man. And thanks to each and every one of you for watching the Knives Fast channel.